Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hello guys, welcome back to MMI. So in this video, we are going to learn about the electricity. So this is one of the first video of the electrical engineering. So guys, what is electricity? So guys, the electricity is nothing but the flow of free electrons. It is the flow of free electrons across a conductor, which is nothing but the electricity. So guys, this is the simple circuit I have shown over here in this image. So in this case, the V is the potential difference across the conductors. I is the current which is flowing through the conductor and E is nothing but the battery. So guys, this is the simple representation or we can call it as a simple circuit. Okay guys, so the, uh, there are two types of the circuit. So guys, the first one is the AC circuit and the second one is the DC circuit. This image is the DC circuit. So guys, each circuit follows some rules. So guys, let's check out those rules. The first one is the Ohm's law. So guys, the, according to the Ohm's law, the potential difference across any two points on a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. So guys, uh, we have got over here, V is directly proportional to I and guys, V is equals to IR. So R is the resistance which always be there and it's typically depends upon the physical conditions such as the length of the material, such as the cross-sectional area of the conductor, the temperature. So guys, this parameter has to be constant to obey the ohm's law so if it gets varied the your conductor or your specimen won't follow this uh, law so it does not apply to the non-metallic conductor or non-linear devices such as zener diodes voltage regulator etc so guys in this case in ohm's law we have got v is the potential difference which is nothing but in volts i is the current in amperes so guys i is the current in amperes over here and R is nothing but the resistance which always be there in conductor which is shown so guys resistance is always expressed in ohms so guys resistance and resistivity what is that so basically guys the resistance is nothing but the opposed to the flow of electrons so guys it is opposed to the flow of electrons so guys the R is equals to delta into L divided by A whereas R is the resistance in ohms whereas D is the we can call it as a resistivity or else as a specific resistance in ohms whereas guys L is the length of the conductor so guys the L is the length of the conductor expressed in meters okay and A is the area of the conductor expressed in meter square so a is the cross-sectional area of the conductor okay expressed in meter square meter square that is actually so guys the resistance this is the symbolic representation of the resistance how does it uh, we can use in it in symbol and this is the actual representation this is the we can call it as an industrial representation of the resistance okay guys so guys opposite to the resistivity is the conductivity So, in a circuit, the resistances can be connected in the series as well as in a parallel connection. Resi these are the resistances. So guys, let's check out those. First one is the series circuit. So guys, the this image shows us the series circuit. This is the sim uh, schematic representation. Whereas, this is the actual representation of the series circuit, which is uh, two lamps are connected in a, a series circuit. So whereas, in this case, the I current is same across the circuit okay guys this is very important v is the voltage and potential difference which gets vary in this case r is the resistance and p power which is additive over here in this case so guys the voltage division rule it can be applied in case of series connection so i is equals to v divided by r1 plus r2 so voltage across r1 gives us v1 v1 is equals to r1 into i so replacing i in the above formula we have got this equation
so guys this equation is very useful to find the voltage across the r1 and r2 so guys next one is the parallel circuit so guys uh, this is the parallel circuit the r1 and r2 are connected in the parallel so this is the again schematic representation and this one is the actual representation so how the lamps are connected in the uh, practically in the parallel circuit so guys in this case the voltage p pd potential difference is same across the circuit i currents gets vary across the circuit whereas in previous currents was con constant in series so guys in this case the branch currents are additive and the conductances and the power are additive so by following the ohm's law over here we have got v is the same and i is the vary so from ohm's law we have got this i1 is equals to v divided by r1 okay guys so <coughs> So over here we can apply the current division rule in the case of this parallel connection we can calculate the current flowing through each of the resistance okay so guys uh, by applying the current division rule we have got i that is current through r1 that is i1 is equals to v upon r1 and if you follow if we follow the steps in this current division rule we have got this i1 is equals to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into i so similarly we can find the current flowing through the r2 so guys we have seen this uh, two voltage uh, and the loss so guys thank you for watching my video if you like my video please hit like if you have any doubts and queries you can feel free to comment below and guys please do share my all my videos and all the engineering related videos to your friends family and guys please do subscribe to my channel amimi and hit the bell icon to get the notification instantly when i upload a new video thank you guys god bless you all